In this lesson, I'll show you several examples on how to calculate delta G from standard free energies of formation. The first of three questions asks, ozone in the lower atmosphere is a pollutant that forms by the following reaction involving the oxidation of unburned hydrocarbons. Use the standard free energies of formation to determine delta G for the reaction at 25 degrees Celsius. Now I've gone ahead and collected all the delta G of formation for the molecules in this reaction. Notice that they're listed in this table. And what we will need is the following formula, where the change in standard Gibbs's free energy is shown right here. Let's go ahead and use this formula. We'll start by writing out delta G of the reaction is equal to the sum of the amount of moles of the molecule times its standard free energy. So the sum of the products, we'll start with CO2, and make sure that this is balanced, it already is balanced. We have one molecule of CO2, so I'll write down one mole times, according to this table, negative 394.4 kilojoules per mole. As you can see, this mole unit and this mole unit will cancel out. Since we're taking the sum, we'll do this again for H2O. We have two moles of water, and that will be multiplied to its value of negative 228.6 kilojoules per mole. This will cancel out with that. And finally, the last molecule in the product side of this reaction is ozone. We have four moles times 163.2 kilojoules per mole. Now we'll focus on the reactants. So we'll subtract by the sum of the reactants. And the first is CH4, one mole of that, times negative 50.5. And this time I'll just ignore the units because I know what's happening. Plus 8 times O2, which has a delta G of 0. Now we can use our calculator and we're almost done. So starting with what we have here, negative 394.4 plus 2 times negative 228.6 plus 4 times 163.2, close bracket, minus, now the reactants, negative 50.5 plus 0, so we can just stop writing after that. And we end up with a delta G for this reaction that is negative 148.3. Negative 148.3 kilojoules. This number is negative, which means that this reaction is spontaneous. Now, if you would like to see the solutions to questions 2 and 3, feel free to leave a comment below, and I'll gladly create a video showing the solutions for both. They're relatively the same to question number one. That's why I don't want to invest too much time doing this. Question number two actually takes a lot longer because you have to find delta S and delta H using the same method as we did here. Then you would have to compare the two values, this one and the one that you find using this formula. So like I said, if you need these solutions, just let us know. And that is how to find the delta G for the reaction from standard free energies of formation.